Hello, everybody. Welcome to How to Make Your Wife Happy and Healthy. Today, you're going to be rolling in the dough with this wonderful lunch for the kids. So come on, everybody. Let's get cooking. It's time for another hot dish from Happy Healthy Wife. Today's shout out goes to Meaty Mike 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 Thanks Meaty Mike for watching my channel. If you want to shout out my next video, stay tuned to the end to find out how. Here are the ingredients. Two flour tortillas. 16 slices of pepperoni. Two ounces of Colby Jack cheese. One cup of Utz Pub Mix. One granola bar, 16 ounces reverse osmosis water. To save on expenses, we always make our kids lunches. Well, probably because they also don't like to eat the food from the school, so we make the lunches. We're starting with my daughter's lunch. One thing that we have are these lunch bags. Reusable lunch bags, we don't always use paper bags. There's stuff they're gonna throw away. So we wanna make sure we have a nice lunch bag. We found these in Costco and these have an interesting feature where they have a compartment for ice packs. One on top, one on bottom. My daughter likes her food cold. So we put one on the bottom first. And then we also could put one on the top, but we don't put one on the top because she found that was just too cold. Now I start with my daughter's lunch because it's not gonna mess up my cutting board so much with any liquids because her lunch is rather dry. So I'm gonna set the lunch bag aside for a moment and get hers ready. So we're gonna start with the things that she likes. One thing that she likes that I kind of created for her, she tried it once, and I was looking for something quick and easy to make. And it's tasty as well. So she likes what I call pepperoni rolls. So we take two flour tortillas, I'm a little misshapen, but that's okay. Lay them out, and each one gets eight slices of pepperoni. Take the pepperoni, and we put in eight slices for each tortilla. Eight slices for this one. Now, she probably doesn't know how much I put in. Oh, I need one more just to make it eight. Not a big deal, rather, really, how many you do? Eight slices of pepperoni, eight slices of pepperoni. You take it, fold it over to the pepperoni, and roll it up. Do the same for the other one. Fold it up to the pepperoni, and then roll it up. Usually I actually start with cutting the cheese, that'll come next. But now once I got my two rolls of pepperoni, Cut them in half, and to be iron mentally friendly and to cut costs, we use reusable plastic containers for all the food we make. So she starts with that. I'm not done with this yet though. She likes to have cheese. I tried mozzarella cheese, which she didn't like so much. So I'm using block cheese. I always use block cheese. Oh, that was too thin. That's my thin enough for my sons. We'll save that for later. I forgot. He needs the thin slices. My daughter needs the thicker slices. I'm just going to cut up. She eats it directly. My, thun, my son gets thinner slices because he is going to have it in his sandwich. I use block cheese because it's cheaper than shredded cheese or even buying sliced cheese. You can cut it yourself as long as you use my food hack. It's time for an epic food hack. With Daddy. You can keep the cheese nice in the refrigerator, so long as you make sure you keep it covered. So this is one of the only times I use plastic bags anymore. But it keeps it nice and fresh, squeeze out all the air. No hardness in cheese if you keep it nice and fresh in a Ziploc bag. So there we are. Two slices, six, go on top of the pizza rolls, pepperoni rolls, whatever you want to call them. Close the lid. 
and into the lunchbox it goes. One thing that's really easy for her lunch, she's really grown the fondness of these soft and chewy granola bars. So we put one of those in her lunch because she likes them a lot. Like that, so that goes in and it gets nice and cold as well. Another thing that she has said because lunch has been getting too little for her. So we add this pub mix. Sometimes she doesn't eat it, sometimes she does. If she doesn't eat it, we leave it there for the next day because it's not going to spoil. Now we use, again, reusable container. Reusable because that way we're saving money on bags and saving the environment by not throwing away extra stuff we don't need. Put the cover on. There's the final piece for my daughter's lunch. Takes less than 10 minutes to repair. Nice, easy, close the lid, zip it up, and her lunch part is ready to go. We're gonna get to the water. Okay, the last part of lunch you do, sometimes I have my son do it because I run out of time, sometimes my daughter will do it her own self as well, is we have their water containers. Now we're gonna fill them with water because it's easier than giving them bottles of water and it's better than drinking the tap water. Partly because we also have this wonderful reverse osmosis filtration system down below, which allows us to have fresh drinking water, which tastes wonderful, coming straight from your tap. That's also very helpful in this time we're staying at home. We don't have to buy water. We just let it come through the tap for us. Um, so what do we do? And my daughter likes it a little cold, but not too cold. So she only gets one, two ice cubes in her water. And then we fill it up. Again, this is reverse osmosis filtered water, just like what you get in the bottle. If you see a bottle that says it's done by reverse osmosis, this tastes exactly the same as that. Not only though, you might wonder, what about the ice cubes? Where do those come from? Well, instead of using the filtration system in our refrigerator, freezer, and that ice, we actually have bought ice cube trays. We do it old style. And we fill it with our reverse osmosis water and freeze it in the freezer ourselves. Saves money on trying to buy ice on your own. You also know what kind of water you're getting in your ice. This is very wonderful reverse osmosis filtered water that we have frozen. Tastes exactly like your bottled water. It'd be just like if, if you took your bottled water and you froze it. The trays are cheap and reusable. So we fill them up periodically when we've run out of ice. And this is how we do our ice water. Oops. There we go. Three trays that we're going to put into the freezer to freeze for ice. What time is it? It's time for lunch. What time is it? It's time for lunch. It's lunch time. Hey, what's for lunch? I have pub mix and pizza rolls and cheese. And a granola bar. It's very simple and it's very put together. It's like a snack you can have at any time of the day. But it also tastes surprisingly good. It's only two ingredients. It's my favorite. Bob mix. I don't usually eat the cheese with it. I eat it separately. So, cheese is cheese. We all know that. Pub mix is pub mix. It's a nice <coughs> snack on the side and it's very crunchy to balance out that, which is very soft. 
Now we have a soft and chewy granola bar with chocolate chips. It is surprisingly soft and chewy. And it tastes good because there's chocolate and anything with chocolate tastes good. And now we hydrate with water. Water tastes like water, we all know that. That's very good water. Happy Healthy Bob Chef Barry here. You might need to chow down on that like button just like my kids chow down on their inexpensive, tasty, and environmentally friendly lunch boxes. Let me know in the comments down below what would you put in your own lunch box. And if you can include the word salami in that comment, you'll have a chance at a shout out in my next video. Don't forget to Subscribe and click the bell to be notified of all my new videos that come out on Mondays. Thanks for watching. Have a happy and healthy day.